I'm watching my community talk about this uh, this Kotaku article that came out, and uh, I've actually had to redo a retake or a couple on that, on these out with it and this out with it, which is odd because I never do retakes on these. Um, but I've run into a couple of brain blocks because this is a, this is a a very complex topic, the sociology and the psychology around a community. This you know. The Kotaku article used the word geisha-like situation between broadcasters and viewers. I feel like I come into the, all of this with a different mindset and a different outlook, mainly because I had a, you know, quote-unquote public internet life, career, professional career before this. You know, I... I Spent 10 years working. I spent 10 years interacting with people, interacting with people that liked my work. Um, and, you know, I was always, at, I was as if, well, now more now, um, you know, outspoken about things that affected me. Um, well, you know, more personally and more professionally. And I look at a lot of streamers these days and a lot of, you know, the, the average age for your, you know, the, the streamer starting out is, you know, somebody coming out of high school or coming out of college. But I'm not going to pin this on, on experience. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pin this on, you know, uh, you know, on, on mental experience or emotional experience or just, you know, or just age in general. But I, I think that it's really important for any, any broadcaster that wants to start out that you know what persona or what part of you you're going to put out there. I think this isn't, I think information, personal information is a symptom of the disease. I I believe that if um you know I I get to points on cast where, you know I you know you guys know who my wife is you know who my you know my family I love sharing my experiences with them with you. Um, uh, because I'm proud of them. I'm I'm proud to to be part of their lives, and. Now, at the same time, I've, and I think just through the way I've run my cast, I've inherently put down, it's been a filter, and it's also put down, like, boundaries. Like, you can look at me, and you're like, you know this guy doesn't take shit. Um, but at the same time, it's like this guy can also be empathetic. I think, I think like, the fact that I, I am who I am on cast and off cast, like, it's not a persona. I'm not lying or I'm not fibbing, or I'm not putting a version of myself in somebody's head that is not who I believe I am. I think it's really easy to respond to people, to put out a persona that makes people respond and want to know more. It's 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 weird because I I could ne I couldn't never really see myself in a position like that and and I would hope that I would see it coming. Uh, I I have created a rapport with a lot of people in the community and a and I've surrounded myself with people with people that think the same way that somebody would catch somebody. Maybe that was you know just a little bit out of line from what we would want. It sounds weird to me saying this, but at the same time, you know, people talk about safety and, you know, I it, stuff stuff like this has never happened to me. So I'm really talking in hypotheticals and speculating. But at, but at the same time, it's like what causes these behaviors to happen in the first place? And I don't think the answer should always be to prevent those behaviors, I don't think the answer should always be like this visible closing. Like, oh, I've opened up and then something happened and then I closed up again. Maybe I've maybe that action is so inherent in my 
my being that I don't even notice it. That's unconscious. But to consciously do that is weird to me. You know, I will be who I am. And not everybody can afford to be who they who they are on Twitch. Everybody has their tolerances. But I will be, and hopefully that you know, you come into my chat and you're like, oh, this guy's real talking, or this guy, you know, um blah blah blah. Blah 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 self deprecation. <laughs> uh this guy is you know, something or another. I will watch him or I will not. But I think the people who latch themselves onto me, at least, are people that um, know what boundaries I have. And if it ever comes to a point where they don't have that, um, I would have hoped we would have caught that earlier before somebody, you know, flies to your doorstep. Um, things like that. It's a complex subject, and I'm not really even sure I want to release this out with it. But at the same time, I think it's important to hear people's People's views on it. Again, I believe audio or video is better than text. And I'll keep believing that. To my community, I can only hope that you look upon both the viewers and broadcasters as empathetically as you look towards anything else. I, with compassion and with grace, because I... Everybody, everybody fucks up every now and then. There are flubs, there are misguided, there are pieces of misguided judgment. And the last thing we need is to be judging them. Protect yourself, but also be kind. I guess is what I want to say about that. And I will do the same. <laughs>